All right, uh, well, just had a brew day. Getting a beer. I might explain what's been going on. No. So, cheers, everyone. All right, um, well, some of the video you might have just seen, we've done Lock 35, which is an English Pale Mild. We're aiming for a 3.5% mild, but a pale mild, not a dark mild. Um, don't get me wrong, love the dark milds, easy to drink. Open for nothing too dark. <laughs> anyway, so basically in this we've got Warminster Floor Malted Mild Ale Malt. We've got some Golden Promise that I had to use up. We've got a bit of Caterpillars and then some Black Malt. And um, on the video you might see Black Malt. I never put in the mash. I watched Big Banana the other week making a black IPA and he steeped his Carafa 3 to try and remove the roasty flavour that you get from coloured malts. Um, so what I've done, I've done my normal 60 minute mash and then when it's come to mash out time and it's going from like, well my mash was 65 but I'm taking it up to 75, 76 for a mash out for 10 minutes I put my black malt on top of the top plate and used that just hopefully get the colour and not the, the flavour. Um, I've only used the top plate for the last 20 minutes as well because I've seen the G40, the G70 don't have a top plate. The top plate that I've got, the roll top plate, it's too heavy and it just pushes the grain down and compacts it so I basically put a bit of silicon around the outside, silicon tubing, cut it, split it, so it holds it up and then we'll hold the black malt on top while the water's going through, while the work's going through. Um, it's aiming for a pre-boil gravity of 1031, original gravity of 1036, but that's at 68% efficiency, which has been what I've been getting. Um, and it does sound quite low so this time that's why I've been just letting the work go on top of the grain itself I'm not using the top plate and then I've done a 60 minute mash so after 20 minutes I give it a good stir to 40 minutes I give it a good stir then I put the top plate on give it another 20 minutes and it was coming out clear as you'll see in the pictures then I put the black mount on for the last 10 minutes to get the the colour through. Um, I'm using it's all Brambling Cross, so I know it's not some people's favourites, but I don't mind it. I've used pH 5.2 buffer and gypsum to get my pH bang on at 5.25. Um, I mashed out 65, sorry, mashed in at 65 for 60 minutes, mashed out at 75 for 10 minutes. Um, and then, as you can see on the videos, I've managed to get, it's supposed to have been a boil size of 29 litres, and I got a boil size of 30 point summit litres, it was either 0 0.5, 0 0.9, it was getting up to about 31. Um, that's why I panicked, panicked a bit and got stirring before it went all over the place. Um, post boil volume was 25 litres according to grain, uh, according to brew father, and I've got 28 I think on the boil. Um, anyway, you'll see on the video as it's come out. I'm expecting 22 litres to get into my fermenter. 22 litres at 10:36. And in that, I've got 24 litres. So I've got two litres extra. Um, 
you can see on the video the column on the fourth bottom column of hops and the protein bits that's all got whirlpooled and gone to the middle so I know once I've removed that fourth bottom there's two litres of wort, shrub, hop damn it, hop debris, whatever at the bottom so 24, 26 litres but that's what it leaves in so I'm happy with that um, I'm hoping the efficiency has gone higher because I took two samples um, and you're looking 1038 plus now according to that it's only gone up two but I thought I'd got a 1036 pre boil gravity according to hydrometer so we'll see if there's any difference I'll put it up along the bottom here um, and we'll see what we get so I've had a great brew day it's been really good the mighty port there yeah lost again um, don't worry about it but whether this becomes a grain to glass video or just a brew day video as in Sarah and Graham's challenge we'll see um, I have tried filming this a couple of times but one time you couldn't hear me because of the rain I sat outside underneath the brawler um, I used to be able to brew in here but now we've got the tumble dryer on must have come into some money because we've got the tumble dryer on two chest freezers fermentation fridge a hot fridge and <laughs> the lights <laughs> so we must have come in some money so we're earning some burning some fuel um, let's see where we go now because I've put it into the bucket and it's 24 litres it'll cool down overnight in here and then it'll get put into I don't know depending on what we're going to do with this um, this has been called crashing so we might put this into a keg if we can find a keg I've got a mild keg at the back here which has got about five liters left in we might put that into a small keg and then put that through a hand pump and that way I can put a 19 litre and get that served up on the hand pull um, I think that's it yep that's about it um, I'll put a picture up label blah 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 if you see me again if I come back on here in five seconds then it is a grain to glass Oh, here comes rain again. It's a grain of glass. If you don't see me again, it's just a brew day video. And I just want to say, everyone keep doing the videos because it is watchable. Um, you know, you get them days, there's nothing on. Bloody strictly Mastiff Death. Every other thing that goes on in the world, it's on teller, I just put my headphones on, zoom in, zoom out, and watch you lot, so, cheers everyone, have fun, keep on brewing. <laughs>